the recording here. We're gonna see what they roll out on. But yeah. So as I assume you're pretty familiar with the dive heart playstyle in terms of like your ability to pin in and close the distance against comps that out completely outrange you, particularly ones that have a lot of range. Um, I'll show like dive heart uh, playstyle. Um, particularly against ones that have a lot of range. Um, uh, low mobility. And that you're gonna really struggle to try and just get a normal like walk up and brawl them. Um, and I'm looking at this comp here, the Sigma and the Bastion and the Mercy and the Rapsis is quite poke heavy. Um, you can't see my screen. Okay, one sec. Um. Uh, let's see. You see it now? Ba -ba -ba. Nope. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm screen sharing. I assume you. I assume you can still hear me. Um, because I am. Um, it says I'm, I'm screen sharing on Discord. Um, hmm. Okay. If you go on your Discord, uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, let me screen share again. I'm, I just started screen sharing again. I can see my camera on your screen. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Let me just hang on, hang on. I'll show you what's on my screen. The technical difficulties. So that's like oh, that's what my screen looks like. Like I, I I'm I'm screen sharing the 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 Junker Town or John the new Junk City replay. Um. The. Hmm. Yes, I'm, I'm still screen sharing now. If you could check your Discord, maybe again? I don't know. I'll, ref I'll refresh. Alright, cool, cool, cool. No worries, no worries. Okay, I see it. Great, great, great. And then, just to, to, just to double check, you can see the writing, right? You can see the doodles, right? That, great, 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 great. Okay. So yeah, with the die fart playstyle, um, it's mainly against compositions that are that have a lot of range, so like your your typical widows, your zens, your hanzos, um, your ashes, um, that kind of thing, and with low mobility, um, which is perfect because that's exactly what we see on this comp, right? You're going to really struggle just just normally walking up into a sigma and into a bastion who are gonna melt your shield from afar. Um, so what I really want to see is you try and be creative with your pins, you bait out the Bastion, uh, baiting out, uh, Bastion, uh, tart form. That's super important to do. Um, shielding out Rock too. Um, out Rock. And trying to use pin creatively, either to pin the Bastion when he hasn't got his turret form, or to, you know, pin the Sigma when he hasn't got Rock, um, and just play, play in that sort of, like, a window of aggression when these guys have not got their CDs, particularly turret form. That's the biggest thing that I'm seeing with this comp. Um, now, of course, there's things like, you know, corner usage is really important. Um, shield management, making sure that when you want to go aggressive, um, you actually have full shield. Um, tons of Iron Knots away shield early on, especially against poke heavy comps like this. Um, and then also fire striking corners. This is a big, big, big one. Um, the way you hit fire strikes consistently um, is, as I always say, is just literally fire strike corners. Don't even bother about trying to like track the enemy movement and try and do it in open space. Um, the reason why corners are so good is because they're they're literally going to be where everyone sounds good. Yeah, um, they're literally going to be where everyone is playing around. Right, they're like the hot spots of the map. Um, they're going to be dodging in and out of like these corners, and and they're going to be it's going to be really easy to get clear fire strikes onto them. Um, so if, if you want a reliable way of getting fire strike ult charge, that is really how how you would do it in my opinion. Um, but you'll see how you do here. I slow it down. Um, and your levels. Let's see. This is good, right? 
I actually don't want you shielding here early on, right? Again, the main reason being is because the damage that you're gonna be shielding off here is kind of irrelevant. Um, it's just irrelevant spam damage, right? I would actually want you to like hard, 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 hard play this corner, spam fire strikes like in, in this like little slit, as you can see here. Like just turn the corner, fire strike, get back in, right? And hard play this cover, right? And that what you can do is bait out their top form right so what this bastion is going to want to do is top form you and what you're going to do is give up some space right you're going to back up with your shield you're going to give up some space and then you're going to play this cover here and then once you get shield back and once the bastion's top form is over that is when you can go in aggressively right and you can potentially use pin there as well now obviously you do need to be careful about getting pinned out of uh, by by accretion but again it's all about aggression when the enemy bastion does not have top form Let's see what you do here. And go fire strike. And now, and now, this is great, right? You can see the Bastion is walking, walk, walking forward here. Let's see if you do a good job of stabilizing. So not an amazing, not an amazing job here, right? I think this fire strike is a little, a little bit greedy, right? Look, you're fire striking in open space against a Sigma who can rock you, and against a Bastion with, with damage boost and is in tart form. So look how much damage you take it because of the fire strike. Right? You go from 515 to 304. Right? That's over 200 damage just off a fire strike. Right? Whereas you could be backing up now to this corner. Fire strike here. And then now you have way more HP and you're able to stabilize way more efficiently. Right? And look at the damage, by the way, that your teammates take because you don't shield earlier. Um, so that's really vital there. Still, thankfully, you don't die from this, which is good. But again, you could have more shield HP. You could have more HP yourself. You could be on this. Yeah, you know, this corner is fine as well, by the way. Um, but yeah, they're stabilizing there a little bit off. Ooh, right. Um, now if you could speak, I would ask you what the issue with this pin is, right? But I think you can identify it yourself, right? The issue with this pin is mainly that you haven't got shield and you've got no armor, right? Like. You just need to wait a little bit longer, right? Just wait a little bit longer. What if your shield to come back? What if your HP to come back a little bit more? Then I would be like, okay, this pin would make a lot more sense. Um, but here I think the pin is just a bit too early, right? right and now look, right? And now you're directly in the it makes a lot of sense, yeah. Like now, you're in the middle of the entire enemy team. One, two, three, four. Right, the entire enemy team can see you from this angle and pin to you from multiple different directions, right? And this is going to become really hard to kite, right? Now, I like the pin itself, but again, as I mentioned before, I would prefer you to, like, wait and stabilize a bit more for HP. But also, when you get this pin, I want you pinning on this wall here, right? Here. Because that means you can LOS the Bastion, you can LOS the Baptiste, you can kind of LOS the Mercy, or the, the, not the, the Mercy, sorry, um... The Genji, and you can definitely LOS the Mercy here, right? It's only really the Genji and the the uh, the Sigma that's going to be dealing damage to you, right? Whereas if you go in deeper here, it's going to be harder for your Honor to heal you and save you, and it's going to be harder to retreat back. Um, so this pin, the the distance isn't great, right? And now you're like also getting pinned from like five different angles. So I'd be shocked if you live this. I'll be shocked. I right, you do actually. Ooh. Ah, uh, I don't like the fire strike. You, could, you, see how you see how stressful this is, right? It's so stressful, so stressful. And you're like, oh, look how, look how low you get. That's crazy, 55 HP, right? Um, and you also, by the way, there's like a Reinhardt fundamental. Um, this, is a, this, is a, this is like one of the golden rules of Reinhardt. Please, do not fire strike on when you haven't got armor, right? Or when you're low HP, do not do that shit. Like, honestly, you should die here. You should honestly die here, right? Like, you're very lucky you don't die there. Very lucky, right? And then look at your shield HP, right? You would love to have more shield HP, which you could have gotten by stabilizing on this, this cover, just for like two more seconds, right? Just for two more seconds, get more shield HP, get more HP yourself, and then pin the Sigma, right? Get a nice juicy pin, succulent pin, and then back up with your shield, right? Because now, you're heavily on the back foot. Somehow you live that, right? But in the higher rank, I can tell you you're probably dying there. Um, so yeah.
right? Fortunately, your Arna gets a beautiful nade right there, right there. Um, the enemy team are low. Now you're going in with full HP. I right? could have waited for you know more HP, more short HP, but you're going in with full HP here. Your Arna's got a nice nade, killed the Mercy. I think it's fine to go in a lot more heavy, uh, aggressive here. Alright. And actually, I think it's fine you swing there. Like, I think that was actually really clever by you. Um, you actually LOS the Bastion to fall. Alright. And you kind of, like, use this pillar to, like, LOS the, uh, the Bastion. So I thought that was quite, kind of clever. Nice. Good job. And that fire strike almost hit, by the way. If it was a bit more, a bit more tighter to the corner. Like, if this fire strike was, like, directly... Like, not from here. But if the crosser was like here, that could have like actually hit the Babsies there, maybe. Right? Um again, that's why corners are so important. Alright, great job. And here, a little bit little bit of micro. I'm sure you know about like the swinging, you can swing your camera to get to get a bit of further distance, right? This would be a perfect time to do it. Alright, just swing your camera to the right. And you could have hit the bab the Babsies there. So yeah, honestly, the macro there, I'm pretty happy with. I think from a baseline sort of fundamental of, of like what you were trying to do, I think that was perfectly fine, right? You bait up the turret form, you pin back in, but I think the main issue was sort of like how you did it, right? I think there was a lot of micro with um, you know, fire striking uh, on low HP, right? Pinning the pin itself, pinning um further further than you need to which means you take more damage and not stabilizing enough right not stabilizing uh you know when they've when you've baited out the top form um but after apart from that i think that was a pretty a pretty darn good job there in terms of like the macro and what you're trying to do right and we can see that because look how much old charge you have right off the first fights so so far macro was good micro could lose a little work there i think and here, now they're on a visa, right? So this is going to be really, really, really hard to deal with, right? This is this is even more cyclical. It's even more important that you bait up the spear spin and you bait up the top form, and you have a you have a hard piece of cover or a hard corner to play around, right? And this is why new junk city is so good for right now, right? Because I think you probably again you want to play here, bait up the spear spin, bait up the top form. Play this cover here. Play this cover here. Hell, you can even play this, this the, the 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 point here as well, right? And then play point side, right? But the most important thing is to have a hard piece of cover to play around. Right? I think that's so important. So we'll see what you do here. And great fire strike. Like, that's so exactly right. That's that is why fire striking corners are so important there, right? You get two, two for one. Another great fire strike. Fine, they pop top form, you're happy with that, right? Happy days. Yeah, Rita dies. I don't think the shot is necessary. I think you, you could agree with me there. You you, you kill their Arisa, right? The Mercy, she's not gonna fly here and get a res, let's be real. Um, yeah, I don't think the shot is necessary. Yeah, that might that might butt you back later, right? That might butt you back later, right? Because now next fights, you actually might want to have Shasta, right? What if the Orisa hasn't got Fortify and the Bastion has used her form, right? That could be a, t a free two-man Shasta. And a good thing about, you know, against Orisa and Remarcher comps uh, is that the shielding is either non-existent or it's temporary. Um, which means that you get free Shasta, so yeah. Again, do some Fire Strike there, better Fire Strike there. Fire Strikes have actually been pretty, pretty decent so far, I'd say. Could have been a little bit more in the corner there, but that's fine. My force of deflect, you're fine there. Could have been a bit more in the cover corner there, but that's fine. And now, now you bait out, bait out the top form, right? Which is really, really good for you. So you just want to bait out the top form, play this cover here. You've got a nice. This box is really, really nice, right? Tons of cover, right? tons of cover to play around. Um, what I would say is that you need to, you need to be short hopping. I'm sure you know what shield hopping is, right? It's, it's exchanging your shield HP for your for your own uh own, your own armor, um, which con conserves your own shield HP. Um, the reason why doing that's good is because you know you can actually regenerate your own HP. My right? bows you can't regenerate, or supports can't regenerate. You know your shield HP, but they can regenerate your own HP. Um, so yeah, yeah. 
now you've got 95, 95 uh, shield HP, right? Whereas you could be like 300, 200 HP here, but it's fine, right? Because you get you, you, you that, that sealed up by your supports. Right, and now you can you know, think about using Shatter, right? Now she's still got Fortify, right? So you don't want you, you probably don't want to Shatter here. But here's so you can at least think about it. And not great five strikes here. And unfortunately, have, not having shield here really bites you back. Right? You could have at least 400, 500 shield here uh, against the, the enemy Orisa. And these five strikes not hitting kind of hurts. Right? That one kind of needs to hit. And that swing also needs to hit too, right? And if you're Shatter here, um, that would also, again, you probably don't land it because the Orisa... Oh, she actually used four fire early. Wow, okay. I didn't even realize. Oh yeah, you could you could have definitely shot that if you saved it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, yeah, the, the shield HP there and the shatter being wasted probably costs you this fight, right? Because they're down spear spin, they're down fortify, they're down turret form. Now is your time to go. Right, shatter the Sarisa, pin her into the wall, fire strike her because she hasn't got a fortify back, and then you know kill her, right? Um, that could have been done. So yeah, the micro, not great there, right? I think it was good for you to come around the play the cover here. That was great, and you did bait out their turret form and their, their Orisa CDs. But the way you did it was a little bit off, right? Um, That's my biggest problem there. And do you force Ryan? Yeah, you, you do force, okay. You you have balls of steel forcing Reinhardt into a Orisa Bastion. Uh, let me tell you. I see. I would not be surprised if your team flamed you. OTP things, yeah, yeah. Ryan, I can see why you're, why you're called Ryan Sock, please. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate of your soldier. Good fire strike. They uh, they just they just popped the Bastion thingy here. I think the pin there is fine. I, I think it was reasonable. Just be careful, right? Just be a bit careful. Do know that you're one man down and that the, the, the Bastion has just activated his, uh, his, uh, his, his ultimate. Just be a bit careful here. A great forcing up the lamp there. Ooh, yeah. So you, you do a lot here. You do, you do a lot with a little, I will say, right? You pin, you force fortify, and you force immortality field, right? That's great, right? And spear spin too, right? Just a single pin. So think here, be careful, right? Just chill, just chill. Right, just play this cover here. You know, wait out the four fire, wait out the spear spin, wait out the 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 amplification matrix, and just chill. Right. Rhino is a very binary hero. I think Spylo, you might know him. Um, described Rhino like 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 this. It's either you're on or you're off. Right. And knowing which one to do when is really 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 key. Here, you need to be off. Right. Like you need to be like hard playing this cover, regenerating your HP. Right. And not wasting shield right now. Uh, and living. Right. Play to live. Ooh, I wouldn't even go for that. I wouldn't. That's too greedy, in my opinion. I wouldn't even go for that. Like, I, I get you're trying to be cheeky here, but I wouldn't even go for that fire strike. It's just too risky. It's too risky. Against a high level team, in my opinion, I think you die there. I th honestly think you die. Um, really said that your Genji dies there too. That's really not good. Hopefully, they can get rezzed. And now look at your HP. Your short HP. Right? Imagine if you just stood here, waited out the amplification matrix, and just AFK'd, right, and, and switched, the, switched the light off, right? You would have full shield HP here, right? And then you'd be ready to go back in, right? Or hell, you could even be a bit cheeky, right? And then swing around here, and go for a pin onto the Mercy, right? If you really wanted to be cheeky, and then play this cover here, right? That's something you could also do too. Um, but yeah. Now you're going into a spear spin and into a a top form, right? And you've got no, you've got no shield to push, right? You've got no shield, right? You've got 300 shield to push, right? Your vice ring, they've just used all their cooldowns. Now is the time to go. But you're half HP with no armor and no shield, right? This is the issue. Um, you're using your resources way too early when you really shouldn't be. Um, but yeah. Imagine if you had full shield here and full, full HP, right? You just pin into this Genji, you clear him, and then you just walk, right? And then you win the fight. And you do pin this, right? That's what pin's fine. I hit the Genji blades. Right, so as soon as the Genji blades are there, I would just shield. I would just shield. 
I will just literally shield these guys and make sure the Bastion and, and the Baptiste and the Riso can't get value and then turn around and then like throw a fire strike and like hope your team can deal with it at that point. Um, like actually you need you need shield, like just stabilize, 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 stabilize. Yeah. Like you, you never have an opportunity to go in as Ryan Lot here because you're using your resources, your resources way too early. Whether it's your shield or your own HP. Um, yeah. And again, I think you could have been creative, and as I talked about earlier, going for that die fart playstyle, right? That really cheeky sort of like frontline playstyle, because against this comp here, you're not going to win frontlining, right? Like, it's so hard to win by frontlining, right? Even if you bait out the top former and the and the recent spear spin, I think it's going to be really hard. Um, and I think it would be, unironically, it would be easier, and you'd be creating more space by going for a pin to the mercy through this sort of flank here, right? Or hell, you could even force point. You can even force point, make these guys turn around, use the cover as point as well, right, and then force the point here, and make them turn around, right, I think that could have been a good too. Okay. Actually, if we, if we, if we go from a third person POV there, let's, let's look, let's look. Like, imagine if you're here, man, imagine if you're here. It's a free pin, it's a free pin, it's literally a free pin. Are like, you pin this mercy, even if you don't get you, you you don't get the pin, you probably first force, force Valkyrie here, um, and then you at least definitely force some attention, right? These guys look at you, right, which allows your Genji or your soldier and your Genji to walk forward here, right, and go for this kind of play. Um, and, and again, as I said, you could even force point here, and it's, it does the same thing, right? But it's a little bit less, it's, it's less risky for less rewards. Um, so yeah. Let's see how you do here. Okay. Arch looks good, reasonable. Just live, 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 live. Nice. Okay, I like that pin as well. So this so far is not too bad, right? You bait up the top form, your high HP with high sh with high shield, you're shielding off the Baptiste and the Genji, uh, and zoning off the Ariza entirely. I think this is this is pretty good so far. Um, I I I, I, I think this is fine. Good fire strike as well, right? Great fire strike, great blade by Ogenji too to push them on the downtime when the Bastion hasn't got his top form, right? So far, so good. Alright, nice. Again, you, you need to be using your camera a lot to swing. Um, again, I really think if you just turn your camera to the right and swift your camera from the right to the left while your, your while Reinhardt is swinging from the right to the left, you hit uh, these two guys, right? So, yeah. Then that, that could you could at least hit the Baptista. Okay. Yeah, now it's up. Yeah, it was decent, I think. Yeah, no main issue, no real issue there. Okay. Fire striking, good. Honestly, your fire strike has been pretty good so far this game, I'll say. Okay, you've got Shatter. I assume you're looking for Shatter here, right? I assume that's what you're trying to do. Don't peek around this corner on Shatter. Our window, great, right? All you need to do now is just peel back, right? S key out, wear out the window, play this cover, right? You can even play this cut. Like, that's so, this is why Junk just is like a really good provider, right, right? Like, here, 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 even here, even back on points, like so many places of cover to, to sort of kite behind and bait around. Really, really good, right? So just back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Leave! The Genji just doesn't leave, okay, fine. Don't, you don't want to be shorting this. Now it is unfortunate that your team just died to window here, and that's not that's really nothing you can really do about this. Um, so yeah, it's really unfortunate. Yeah, nothing you could have done much that fight, honestly. Like even if you backed up, your team just dies to window. So yeah, bit of a that's your that's where one of the places where your teammates are just being a bit feedy. Unfortunately. Okay, next fight. Okay. Okay. Should know that hopefully that the Bastion top form is out right now, so that's one key cooldown gone. Your high, your high HP, full shield. Let's see if you can force a spear spin. Your, your soldier's visoring from the right side angle. Yeah, with the pocket. Yeah. This is your time to go in. 
great pin. Uh, great pin. Really good pin. Now you don't hit it onto the on. You get spit pin out of it, but that's a really, really, really good pin, right? Because what that means is that you have one, two, three, and four people at Arisa too. Don't forget that Arisa looking at you, right? Which allows your soldier to walk forward and get tons of value onto the mercy, onto like the people that you're distracting, right? That was a fun, that was a really good pin there. Really, really good pin. You also know that the is like playing split too, right? That is the dive up playstyle. That, that's, that's the dive up playstyle. Don't be, don't be upset that you didn't hit the pin there. Really good. And yeah, I was going to say clean chaser. Really good. Uh, you could make an argument that you guys overwalked this because you used three, right? And they use one. And actually, they used, actually they used two here. That's not too bad. But yeah, you could have safe shot there, arguably, but I think it's fine. Really, yeah, that's great. That's like textbook how you how you play the, the, the dive up place like that. And that's something you could have done the previous fight on the previous point, right? But instead of onto the Bastion, it could have been onto the Mercy. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And by the way, um, because you're playing main tank, I wouldn't normally say this, but you might want to be thinking about ult tracking too. Because ult tracking, will, ult, ult tracking ultimates will determine your aggression, right? If you're ult tracking matrix, for example, you, you can be like, okay, they've got matrix. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be extra ready to bait out that matrix, kite back, and then push back in with Shatter, right, or something like that. Um, so that is something to to, to, to note in the future. Because matrix can dictate your aggression. Okay, again, fast tracks are reasonable. This been out, good. They're off the, they're off the uh, bastion here onto the Sojourn. And yeah, like if you had Shatter here, you really, honestly, you, you could actually Shatter this, right? And then Shatter the Sojourn here, and then pin it with your Reaper, right? This is really, really hard to deal with, because you've got Vinot pushing into this, like this with Shatter, and then the Reaper pins from behind, right? Like someone's gonna die, right? So it's unfortunate that, you know, your Soldier dies here with your Arisa. Nothing much you can really do there, um, but yeah. I think going in, in here with the Reaper is completely fine. Spinning back around to this one. Okay, reasonable. Really good. Run around, go for the Arisa. Fine. Just short of that, uh, spit that uh, javelin off. Yeah, yeah, if you don't. Yeah, if you don't get hit by that, if you just shoot off that javelin and then you fire strike your Arisa, that could have been done, right? Um, or you just, you, you cancel your, your pin here. Yeah, you think that needs to be shielded. And then you fire strike here too, right? Swing fire strike. And yeah, really unfortunate. But yeah, honestly, the Maka though is pretty good, pretty good. You zoom off the Orisa and then you go for that dive out play style into the back line with the with the Reaper. I think that was pretty good. I need to put the cover there well. Okay. Right. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so that Bapsi just gets caught off, I guess. And the Sojourn, okay, fine. Actually, you could even be you could even be here with the team and just like fire, throwing fire strikes from here, and then when the point unlocks, then you can go back if you want to. Because right right now you don't need to go to the point, right? Because it's not it's not been unlocked yet. Okay, good fire strike, I guess. Cool. Right, if you, if you, again if you were there earlier with with your Reaper, that Mercy dies sooner, right? And so does that Genji too. And then you can ping, ping back the point, but yeah. Their team just got caught off on the rotation early on, sadly. Okay. So now I'll do this. So. Against doing this, there's a few things you can do, right? So one thing, obviously, is the counterplay between your pin and the guy's power block, um, but also zoning off the dive too, right? 
So these guys, you can actually allow your team to deal with the, the Doomfist entirely and do the exact same thing you were doing, right? Um, which is again, when the Doomfist goes in, either turn around and pin the, the Doomfist or shield him off entirely, right? And the when you would, the way you would want to do either of those playstyles is if they were running like Lucio, Kiriko, um, that was like an R, I K there, right? Lucio, Kiriko, Doomfist, um, uh, you know, a a a Reaper and a Genji or a Tracer, that is when pinning the Doomfist becomes a lot more valuable. Because there isn't much to shield, right? But because you're playing Doomfist into a, a heavy poke comp, um, that's a lot less, you can shield off the Baptiste, you can shield off the Soldier, shield off, shield off the Mercy, um, that is really what I think you should really be doing here. And then hell, even pinning onto these guys when you can, right? So denying that Doomfist, that uh, shielding off the Doomfist engage, and then pinning onto the Squishies, is really what I think the macro should be here for you. And also, again, landing landing early puck damage onto the Doomfist so he, you know, he can't dive early, stuff like that. Okay, good fire strike. Pin, pin is reasonable, I think. Right, you're playing in close range. You win this one-on-one -on -one uh, fight against the Doomfist there. It forces the Doomfist to stage. And, as, as I said before, you're marking three, three of the ranged DPS sort of, like, carries here. So this is good. Face. Like, I don't know what I don't know what Doom Doom is doing, right? Like he loses the, the why is he punching you? Like he just loses the match up here. Okay, they window. Good kites, good kites, kite kites, nice. Like that punch does nothing to you, right? Like who cares? You're you're you're, you're why not? Okay, yeah, I would have. Okay. So as soon as you see your Reaper going in here, I think again, I think it's early by your Reaper, but I would have like shielded in your Reaper here so he, he doesn't take that much damage from window, and then you know you can like he can blossom whatever. Yeah. Okay, pin down the Doom is fine, right? Fine, yeah. Cool. So there, like there, I don't know what they're doing. I think it was actually fine for you to play close there and then like force the, the frontline matchup because again that Doomist will lose the frontline matchup to you every single time. And then you cut the window nicely. Um, only thing I'd say there is again trading backlines, going onto the enemy backline there, shielding in your Reaper when you see him go in. Okay. Yeah, if they if they were if they were if they were running Lucio Tracer and more mobile heroes with less range, then I would be pinning onto that Doomfist more more especially. Um, but yeah, that that fight there was fine because you just nano nano blossom and then yeah you win so. I'm intrigued to see how you lose the next two points here. Um, a pin, yeah, I was gonna say. A pin, don't shatter. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the shatter here. Like, I can tell you're gonna do it when you, when you pin. Why? You're already visoring, right? So it's already one ultimate. And even if you were in this fight, who cares, right? Like, you've just capped the flash point. They're gonna be this 40 seconds until you reach the next flash point. I don't think you need to you need to use Shatter here, right? Like sure you might win the fight here, but it costs two ultimates and you might need Shatter for the next for the next fight here, right? Like uh when you get to the next flash points. You you're gonna win this fight, right? You're gonna win it, but like it's gonna be expensive, right? You might you might even die for it. Yeah, you actually do end up dying for it, right? Like you just take an an unnecessary amount of risk for not a huge reward. Um so yeah, not, not, not a fan of that. Odd, odd choice there, yeah. You, you don't even end up winning that fight there. If I use three ultimates in the fight, that doesn't matter. I, I think if you just pinned and then actually helped your soldier... Um, like if we go from a third person POV here... If you pinned here... Hard, hard, hard shield your soldier... Like you just hard shot your soldier here, deny the mercy, the Genji, and the honor, and even the soldier, and allow your your, your soldier to walk with visor. This fight could have gone a lot more cleanly. Like you, you just shoot off, you just shoot off, the, you just shoot off the, the the Genji here, right? And, and you just shoot off the um the Doom here too, right? Like there's so you could actually like protect your team, um, not risk your life, and it's all less risky and it's less costly. Yeah, not, not a fan. So you win that fight, but it's messy and it's costly. 
Thank you, my friend. Flashpoint. Now look at the auto advantage, right? One, two, three, four alts versus none, right? Like, this next fight is gonna be a little bit dodgy. Ooh, okay. I think pinning I think pinning there is a is very risky. I say very risky, but I don't I don't think it's worth, right? Um, I think you're not the reason why why is because you're not really controlling the important space, right? Like the point hasn't even unlocked yet. The space you don't really care about, right? It's really this space, the high grounds, that really matters for you and your team. And like, you want your soldier to control this, right? You want to clear this high grounds, control this high grounds, deny it away from the soldier, and make sure he can't get a good angle from his visor. Right? That's really your your win condition here. But pinning here, I don't see how it accomplishes that. You do go on high ground here, but I think, yeah. As you can see, it's a little bit messy. So you end up doing it, but it could have been done earlier, right? Like, you can just play this cover here. You can jump up onto these boxes here, right? You can shield, you can shield up here, make the soldier go away, zone him out entirely, and then your, your, then your entire team should be able to deal with a Genji, or a Genji and a Doomfist, right? Um, so yeah. And again, imagine if you go Shatter here, right? You Shatter this guy, you pin him into a wall, you deny Visor, then you go show him to the Mercy, right? That, that, that's so much more valuable, right? Yeah, I understand the pin there, but it, yeah. It's just the way the way you mark that Genji and the Soldier and the Mercy is just not very clean. And now, right? Now, the Soldier just rises from high grounds, right? And where, where's my Reinhardt to shield this off? I don't even think you need to pin this. I don't even think you need to, right? Because again, the win condition is shielding off the soldier and visor and making sure he can't walk with a good angle, right? And if he gets too close, you pin, right? But where's my where's my Reinhardt? With the, but where, where's my Reinhardt to shield this off? And where is he? Where's my Reinhardt to swing, fire strike the soldier, right? Look at this. Look at this, right? This could have been prevented entirely by you, right? Look how much space you give the soldier, right? So that is really, really pivotal. That is really pivotal there. Um, so I, 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 I guess it's um, how do I say it? Um, hmm. Well, how would I phrase that? Um, I think again, you're going a little bit too much onto. I think going for the dive up place there is fine, right? But I think the timing at which you do it is a little bit late. I'm um, a little bit too early, sorry, right? Like you don't, you don't need, to, you don't need to do this. You don't need to go in, um, otherwise you'll get cleared out and die. I think it's way more disciplined for you to, to just play the cover here. You piss off the soldier and you mark him, right? Um, and deny, I think denying ranged DPS is how I would put it. Denying um, ranged DPS, right? Because a soldier with a pocket, can't he, he, like, I don't care if he's got a pocket and he's got visor. He's not walking onto you here. Um, and if he does, he gets pinned, right? Um, pin is sort of like the... Um, your failsafe or like your threat, right? If he decides to go on to you. Um, so yeah. Because you're really good at you can you can just shield it, you can put a shield in front of his face and he can't do anything. So that was really pivotal though. That probably cost you that fight, honestly. Especially considering again, if I shatter there, you shatter him in visor, you win the fight, you kill the mercy afterwards, you control high grounds, your your soldier your own soldier mercy live. Easy, right? So yeah, that's probably a, a fight that's lost by you on your on your part there. Playing for your team, okay? Okay, pin is reasonable. Fire strike's reasonable. Now look, right, this is what should have happened in the fight prior, right? Look at the soldier. Running and scurrying back, uh, back to high ground, right? This is what should happen here. You should have been running and scurrying back here, right? Um, that is what your hero's good at. Okay, that didn't speed, sure. Okay, we'll be uh, like fine. Okay. Okay, yeah, go to high ground, go to high ground, good, good, good. Oh. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of like going through main here, right? You you need to be marking the people that are the most dangerous, right? Um, target priority. I I didn't mention. I haven't mentioned this earlier. I haven't meant oh, uh, so far, right? But target priority comes down to two things, right? 
whoever's easiest to kill and whoever's the most dangerous, right? And by far, a soldier with a pocket on high ground is more dangerous than uh, an honor, right? And the honor's harder to kill because of sleep dot, right? So, yeah, I don't know why yeah, you kind of did that. Right, you either dies there because of, because of that choice. And then you get slips, right? Like... Okay. And this is good, I suppose. Right? But yeah. Not great. And even though, even though the Nettle Blade, I strongly believe that if you actually help your Reaper there and clear that high ground and you kill that soldier, um, and then your, your, your Reaper is able to blossom, that fight's winnable, in my opinion. So, yeah. Okay, Diva. Honestly, it doesn't change too much about how you how you play this. Um, yeah. Okay. So again, here on this map, oh, this is really good. This is a really good point to illustrate this. So here on this point, again, it's all about denying that soldier and mercy to the side grounds. Right? That is so key. Super, super, super key. And then you can either pin onto them to close the distance and then hard shield them when, when, when you can, right? And then you can pop shatter and then making sure, you know, and then to come from the kill onto them, right? But if you just walk with them, if you walk with shield onto them, they need to move, right? Because you, you, you win that because you're right not. You win in close range. So that is really key here. Yeah, good pin. My right, good pin. Now, the only thing I'd say is that your team up with you and your half HP with no with half shield, right? So again, the way you do this is a little bit rough, right? But I think the macro here, in terms of marking these guys and diving onto these guys, I think it's fine, right? But the way you do it is off. But the way you the way you do it is off, right? I I see what you're trying to do here. I see I see it. I see what you're trying to do. Right? I think it's absolutely correct to mark those heroes, but. You just do it a little bit too early and a little bit too softly, right? So yeah, your team is not with you there. And it's sad because if 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 you're alive here, your Reaper actually kills the soldier, um, and then this fight becomes a lot more winnable, right? You're in a four v four, um, yeah. You do get rested, so that's good. Okay, yeah. Maybe if you were alive there, your, your honor wouldn't have to pop Nana Boost. Your Mercy wouldn't have to, have to pop Valkyrie there, right? So, yeah, like you, you win the fight here, but you make it expensive. Okay. Okay. So the Shatter here, finally. Let's see how you use it again. So the brick here again doesn't change much, right? This brick, what the brick's really built for, is ensuring and making sure that no one can dive onto the soldier when he takes an angle, right? And also focusing and enabling that Genji too, right? It's the same kind of principles. So actually, you prefer to going into brick over the mercy for sure. So this is actually good for you. Okay. I can see you're thinking. Uh, you're thinking about the shots of the. I think I know you. I know you are. Yeah, right. Absolutely. I think that's fine. I think it's fine to go for it there. You see three people that up in space. You see them distracted. Right, the brig's gone. Right, they're distracted by your reaper. I think the shot is perfectly fine. Right, I think it's really good. I think you have to ask them to really good. You get the both supports there. Nice. Right now, just chill, 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 chill. Yeah, a little bit slow, the chill there. Push right. Shield immediately. Immediately, as soon as you get that, that, that red skull on your screen, shield immediately, right? You've done your job, you've done what you needed to do, you got the kill, right? Hard shield this, hard shield this and live. You, you greed that swing, you greed that swing. I tr Trust me, that extra 80 damage off that swing is not worth you dying for. Okay. Yeah, the shutter there was really good. Open space, perfect timing, good follow up. Yeah. Okay. 
See, yeah, yeah, judging by the time in, you, you actually lose, lose this next fight here, so we'll see why. Okay, fire strikes again. Reasonable. Okay, your soldier visors, right? And I actually think this fire is not too bad. Like, the main reason being is because this is open space, right? Mostly. Right? There's some cover here, yes. There's some cover here, yes. But most of this is open space, so... What I want to see you be doing here is just walk forward with the soldier, right? Even pin to your soldier right now. You can even pin the, the Genji and, and pin this guy, right? And get free kill. So I and pin this pin 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 in. It's just too late. You're too late. You're a bit disconnected from all your DPS are playing, right? Never in history should you be behind your, your DPS, right? Never. This should never really be happening. As soon as you hit this guy visor, you know it's, you know he's gonna go aggressive, right? You need to be pinning this. You absolutely need to be pinning this and drawing the attention. You pin that Genji, you kill the Genji, you save your soldier, 5v4, boom, and you walk up in open space, right? And you zone these guys, right? Match your team's aggression then. Again, I think the training how it's training here is reasonable. I think going pinning here is fine, right? It's last fight, you know, you're baiting them in. I think it's reasonable. I think that's completely fine, and you get a juicy ass people, right? If you hit that fire strike, you get that big. Slight off, a little bit off there. But so far, I think, yeah, I think what you've done, a sort of dive up place for and go into the back line, I think it's been fairly good. Okay, they pop visor, that's good for you. I'll be curious to see who wins, who wins this. Ooh. Okay, good. You basically got nice. Got HP, full shield, really, really good. And your soldier's flanks a little bit too early. Again, here, here's what I think. You bait out Sleep Dot with your pin. I think you probably try. Do you get your pin back? Oh, you, don't get, you don't get it back in time, that's really unfortunate. Yeah, that's rough. That's rough, that's rough, that's rough. I mean, maybe you could make an argument that you should actually be going here, right, right side with the soldier. I think that's really the only thing you, you, you could be doing differently here. Um, and going and controlling that right side high ground. Because again, it's all about controlling that key space, right? You, you don't even know where your soldier is at this moment in time. Okay, the soldier's here, you just shield the soldier in. You bait, you bait, you, like, they can't match you here. They can't. They absolutely can't, because you're Reinhardt's. They can't match you, because you've got more brawl. Um, which means that these guys have to go, to, go off the high ground, your soldier gets high ground for free, and then you can drop and, and contest point, right? Um, so I think that's really the, the biggest mistake here, is really not clearing out high grounds. The so micro's great here, like, it's, it's like, it's like... Whenever your macro's good, your micro isn't. But whenever your micro's good, your macro isn't. Like, you bait it out sleep that well. You've got a nice fire shotgun to the Genji there. Like, the, the biggest question I, I, like, is, is really, like, what are you doing here? Like, in, in terms of, like, what is your value here, right? Like, I, I, whereas you could be here and getting way more value, helping a soldier win this flank war here and allow him to, like, go on high grounds, right? And, like, they can't push you. They can't match you. And then you end up dying for it, yeah? So... And that's mainly because, if we zoom out, right, the map control is here, here, and here, right? This soldier is allowed to take a flank because your soldier dies on this flank, right? You can help with that, right? You can either either pin over here, which is risky as hell, or, again, pin over here, match and help your soldier, and then no one's gonna push you because you're right now. So... Those are really the key things. Okay. I've got some time, we can go through another replay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's scroll up. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, boom. Okay, four and seven. And I'll do a summary at the end, too. Ready or okay. So, Hollywood, Hollywood here is actually a really good example for Reinhardt's. Um, mainly because on attack, again, clearing the high ground is just so valuable, right? Like, you just walk up here with shield, clear the high ground for your DPS, your range DPS, like your, your Cassidy, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll be on high ground here, and then you drop off, and then you go to point, right? So that's another example of, like, clearing high ground there for your team. Now, in terms of the comp here, 
Straight up, I think your comp's better. I think Maze is really strong here. I'm um, on first point, and I think if you just hold corners, get a good wall, you walk, easy, right? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I don't like this aggression early on, right? I just think all you need to be doing is hard hold this corner, fire strike, when you, fire strike around the corner, and then save shield, right? Because why walk, right? You've got point control. You've got point control, you've got map control, right? And by holding back and controlling the space that you already have, you're giving your mate an opportunity to get a wall in, right? Like, I don't see a reason for you to walk here. Right? And, and the reason, look at your shield, right? Absolutely battered. And now you can walk in, right? Because your, your, your mate just got a free pick, right? Which allows you to walk in and take more aggression, right? But earlier, I would not be walk I'd be not would not be walking in here because you're just wasting your shield. And again, swing your camera, swing your camera, swing your camera. Right? The the Rhinot is currently swinging from right to left. Right? Swing your camera, swing your camera around. Right, and you'll hit the queen. Right, you'll hit the queen. So some come swing and that could have been done. Good pin. Yeah, that's feasible. Honestly, I think you could have kept going. I think you could have kept you're one up, right? You're close to the soldier. Keep going, keep going. I think I, th I, I think you actually I think you thought you, you got the pin, but the queen pulled you back. You cancelled it early. I think that's what you did. Um yeah, I would have kept going there. Again. This is why fire striking around corners is so good, right? This is why, like, if I, like, I think the most consistent thing about your play has been the fire strikes on corners. By far, I think. Okay, oh, and you just overextend here. You overextend. You get a bit too greedy. And again, if you, if you fire strike just a little bit here, you get two people here, right? So, yeah. You get a bit too greedy, yeah. This is kind of what I was talking about, you know, when going in too early and pushing into the enemy team space, right? The only reason why I would want you going into here is uh, is if, like, you've got, like, a, a Casty flanking with High Noon here, and then you go in aggressively, and then you pin her from behind like this, right? That would be, like, an example of, like, when I would want you to, to like, go in aggressively, but for the main for, for the for the main part, like, I would just, just play this corner, right? Play this corner, wait for an advantage, you may get a lucky pick, and then you can walk forward, right? Um... So oh, yeah, and there you just got a bit uh, too too excited. I'm not through just yet. Okay. Let's see, let's see. I think that's fine. That's somewhat reasonable. Um, actually, let's see here. Let's see. So again, another situation. Where now they're on much more ranged heroes. All four here, four ranged heroes, right? Um, and I see, I understand that you see that the queen's low, but again, this is where the die fart play is really going to come into play, right? Whether you either pin directly onto these heroes or you completely zone them out with your shield, right? So I, I see and I hear here that you see the, you see an Iliari shoot here, right? And I get, I understand that you see the the jungle queen on low HP here, but you've got no pin. You missed she dies. Turn around. There we go. Mark these guys. Really good. Me personally, I think mark the Eliari, right? Because she's closer to you. Um, but apart from that, again, mark these guys. Right. Good. Good out you force the outburst. That's good, right? Pin. Great pin. Really good. Really, really good. That is that dive out playstyle. That is that is that right there. Good. Cancel, nice, fire strike, beautiful, beautiful. Right, that is, that is textbook Vyanot placeholder, right? Vyanot dive, dive placeholder. And yeah, here you just, you know, get fire strikes, whatever. Get a shatter up. And again, the shield, the shield, the shield, the shield, right? There's no reason to shield this, right? Keep your shield down, play the cover, right? And then when they actually engage, that's when you want full shield, right? You don't want them to engage when you've got half shield. Right? You could be full shield here, right? 
Right, and that's a great, it's a great chasseur, it's a great chasseur, but this could, you, you could have full shield here, right? Um, which is the big issue. I think the other issue with the chasseur here too, it's a good chasseur in terms of the amount of people you get, but like, where's the follow-up, right? Surely, you'd want, you'd want, the sh you would want to get people to chasseur them here, but exactly, right? Your team aren't set up for it, right? It would be way better to shatter people here than to shatter people here, right? Because your team are playing in a way where they can see people here, where they can't see people around this corner here, right? So your team is too far, yes. Um, you get a little bit too antsy with the shatter here. Now, again, in another world where maybe your, um, uh, your, your May was like here, right? Your May was here, your Cassidy was here, your Cassidy could have been here, um, that, then I think the Shatter is perfectly fine. Because they've got angles, oh that's not a great colour, um, because they've got angles straight onto the Shatter kill box, right? But in this case, they don't, right? So you really need to be aware of where your team's playing. It's, it's a good Shatter in terms of the people you hit, but there's no follow-up. Play the cover, play the cover, play the cover, play the cover. Like, I would, I would just, I would have just been hard playing this. Hard playing this, and then, again, shoot them back here and hard playing this cover, right? They need to come into you, right? They need to make the play. They need to touch point in here. Right? You don't need to do anything. You could sit here for all you want, right? And then when they start going in, when actually your mate even gets a wall, right, that's when you can go in, right? I think you're going in too early, in my opinion, right? And you're more coalescent, co using coalescence here, but you can't go in, right? Right? Why? Because you've got no shield, you've got no HP, right? You want to go in here, but you can't because you've got no resources. Um, so yeah. Again, referring back to that binary thing about, you know, knowing when to like switch off on Reinhardt and like play slow. Um, really, really key here. Good pin. Great. Now, you so say, yeah, this is when you would want to go in, right? When you're May splitting, when you're Morris coalescing, when your Arna's using Nano Boost, right? When they're walking into your space, that is fine, right? But the resources before that were a little bit, you were, you were using them a little bit too early. Um, so yeah. I think you guys should definitely overhaul this, like, use 4 ult here for no reason. You, you begin fights with low shield, which is not great. I assume they just win with Queen Alt here because you guys use 4 ults, so... Yeah, yeah. Cast gets thingied, you get, but this is fine, right? You can mark this. This Again, you shield here, you just fully mark this, like, 1v3, you get the 1v3 trade, you mark the soldier, all you need to do there, right? Really good. And again, sad that, you know, your team dies there, right? I think going for a pin down to the mercy is reasonable. Right, shield, 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 good. Fire strike's good. Go to the soldier, good. Right, now that was a really important trade there. If you don't get the children to the queen, you lose, right? Um, but that was really good, right? You you recognize that you get the queen, they can't walk up because they've got no tank, right? Which means they have no space. So you just shield, and then, you know, you clear out the angles, right? So that was actually really, really well played there. Right, pin there, reasonable. Nice, right, good die fought stuff. And go for the soldier. Pretty good. Oh, you could have swing that. You gotta swing there. The color that soldier is. Right? The pin is a little bit off, right? Swing here, you kill a soldier, and then you just shield, and then it's literally just like a mercy and whatever, right? Yeah, a little bit rough, a little bit rough. I actually uh, the queen gets rested. I actually wanna see it from your from my father's perspective here. Let's see, let's see. Oh, this is the fight prior. This is prior. Yeah, this is where you guys like pop like 5 billion ults. Okay, so how does, how does the mercy get the best here? This is really good, alright, this is really good. And that's reasonable, the queen of extends. Does she get a best here? Oh, she, she valks and then, uh... Yeah, okay, maybe in hindsight, then you could have actually, like, 
stood on the body here and like make sure and prevent the res there. Yeah, I think that's a little bit too much thinking though. Like I, that's kind of unlucky. Like, the queen is barely like about to respawn and they get the res there. That's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Oh uh, yeah, that's sad. Because if the queen doesn't get res there, and then if you kill the soldier, that that fight becomes a lot more winnable. A little bit unfortunate there. There could be, an, you could make an argument that you could have just sat on the body for a little bit longer and like shielded it, and then the mercy can't get over it, right? Because you you just swing at the mercy. Um, that could be that could have been that could be an argument that you could have made. Um, yeah, I think yeah, in hindsight that's probably the right thing to do there. Kind of unfortunate though. Very unfortunate. It's just a small micro at that point, but yeah. Okay. We'll shatter, we'll watch one more team fight, and then we'll do a quick summary at the end. Okay. Again here, right? So, because we've got Shatter, because we've got May, which allows you to get clean walls, I actually think it's good for you to hold here, right? Because if we speed up a little bit, right, this is entirely open space, right, which means that it's easy for you to get shatter here, right, and this also means that this May wall, or this May, can get very clean walls here, right, like, I don't know, like, your May walls here, you shatter the Hansel, you shatter the Queen, free kill, free team fight win, right, I don't think it's really worth it for you to be shooting and high ground here, honestly, I don't think it's worth it, your team will already have high ground control, I can see you're definitely looking for a shatter here, you're definitely looking for it. But I think it's a little bit too, too little too late. Um, now you, now it's like the worst of both worlds, right? Right? Because you give up high on control, and you don't get a shatter here. Um, a little bit unfortunate there. Yeah, you give up high on control, and there's no... You're not boring on point here. Good shatter though. Okay, really good that. Here, yeah, go on point, pin. Cancel, cancel, good. The fast strike, the fast strike again. Yeah, so like again here. Imagine if you're just this is exactly where I wanted you to play from the get go, right? We just shut it here on front line. You get three, two, three people. You hold the cover well because you've got May. Your Genji can be on high ground. Your Honor can be on high ground. They're chilling, right? That kind of idea, right? Yeah, apart I think the shutter there itself was good. Um, unfortunately, your Genji did die early though. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I'll we'll do a quick summary. I think, um, first, the most important thing is whenever you do the dive up thing, it was kind of, um, uh, not what you did, so, it was, yeah, it wasn't, um, how do I phrase it? It wasn't what you did, but how, how you did it. How you dove on, sometimes it was great, other times it wasn't, right? Other times, um, you could have been a bit more patient. Um, for sure, I think definitely being patient with Pin. I think you could have, uh, shielded, um, denied, ranged DPS a lot more. Um, and what else, what else, what else? And I'm only really using Pin to close the distance. To close distance. Um, or... Use it as like a self-defense tool. I call it SD, a self-defense tool, right? So, for example, when you pinned onto the Widowmaker here on first point, that was to close the distance, right? And that was perfectly fine. But when you're sort of like on that new junctity point where their soldier had visor and you pin straight past him, you don't need to pin onto him. He has to come to you, right? Because you're controlling that important space. Um, and that leads me onto the, onto the second point about um, the controlling such marking high grounds. High ground. Right, again, especially on attack, and especially when you've got heroes like Honor and range DPS of your own. Um, what else? Um, oh yeah, and I think, I think the third thing would be, um, I mean, your fire strikes were pretty good. Your fire strikes were pretty good. Your shatters, um, were pretty good. I think using resources too early. Too early, right? I think that was evident in both your shatter, because you shattered too early when the, your team couldn't follow up on them, and also your shield HP too. Your shield HP and your own HP as well. 
right? Um, I think you used those resources too early, and it costed and it hampered your aggression later on into the fights, especially when you were playing against those uh those Arisa Bastion compositions, right? When you can't afford to use too many resources early on because you want to be pushing, you want you want to be able to push back in uh, on the get go there after they've used like their 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 tight form or whatever. Um, so those are the three key things. Um, you can yeah, if you've got any questions, you can DM them to me or you know you can just type them up right now. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. I, I, I yeah, I, I'm ha more than happy to do this regularly, um, especially if you found this useful, um, because you can definitely, I think if you clean up the micro, like, there, you can definitely hit tank to 500 for sure. Um, so yeah, like, just play for two weeks, see how you do, um, you know, see if you climb to masters and make that gradual progress, then, then you can like hit me up at any time. And again, if you, if you have any questions, do feel free to message me, to, to message me, um, and then I can, I can ask you. You made somebody, that sounds good, yeah? Um, cool. Also, I'll, I was recording this, so you'll, you'll be able to watch it back at your own pace. 